So, I know I'm just knocking out a couple of videos right now. I'm going to post it over time. But I have some time. The kids are asleep. How's this quiet? My man's in the shower. My little baby in the bed sleep. And I finished my workout. <laughs> so, before I head to bed, I made a couple of frozen grapes. Before that, I'm going to tell you all about this. DGL licorice. Now, I'm going to post the link. I got this from Amazon. I'm going to post it in this video. Uve vegan. Um, a licorice is great for a lot of things. I got this from Acid Reflux. Now, while Acid Reflux is not horrible, coffee. I need coffee. I'm an exhausted mom. And before I started taking the sea moss gel, I was drinking a good two and a half cups of coffee a day, like 16 ounce lattes. I'm a big espresso latte person, cappuccino. Now I'm down to one. My cup is 16 ounces. That's like a double shot plus, I don't know what amount of milk, over a cup of milk, cup and a quarter or whatever, something like that, of plant-based milk. So I am vegetarian. I don't really drink regular milk. We only drink plant-based milk. I love, let me show y'all this real quick. I love next milk. Well, I love silk, vanilla. This I just drink by itself. But next milk is a great milk alternative. And you find it at Walmart. It's not expensive at all. Um, might put the links in that as well if I can find it. It shouldn't be hard. I have the Walmart app. Love Walmart. Swear by them. My little lifesavers. Maybe delivering my food sometimes too. It's great. Anyway, I digress. I was reading that licorice was great for acid reflux and people who suffer from excruciating pain after eating certain foods. I suffer from excruciating pain only if I drink coffee. I read that if you drink coffee with plant-based milk over cow's milk, the pain won't be so bad. So while I already only buy plant-based milk, if I was drinking a latte from somewhere else, like work, we have a latte machine, I was having cow's milk. So what I started doing is bringing my plant-based milk to work and just using the espresso shots from the machine rather than getting the actual latte from the machine. That helps. The sea moss gel helps with me not need to drink so much coffee. Also, making sure I eat. I'm not a big breakfast person. I like to have like a little Nutri-Green bar. I've been having oatmeal, fruit, and Nutri-Green bar. The more food that's in your stomach, the less the caffeine will kill your belly. Because that acid be hitting, kicking, going crazy. Be at work in pain. And this, I take this in the morning. First thing when I get up to make my kids lunch, I take this. I drink some water with it. I usually have maybe like some soy milk, get a little bit of something in my stomach. I don't want to take on a complete empty stomach. It doesn't say that you have to eat with it. Yeah, it says preferably with food, but not that you have to. But I really don't like taking any type of vitamin on an empty stomach because it doesn't end well for me. Anyway, this helps a lot. I was taking Prilosec, and you know, they say you shouldn't take that for more than 14 days straight. Yeah, I was taking it maybe 30 days straight, and I was like, girl, stop. One, it didn't even feel like it was really working, plus I knew it wasn't really good for me. I've not been taking Prilosec at all. I've been taking this and eating before I have my coffee. So if you're suffering from acid reflux, try this. But you know what I did find out from reading crap tons of reviews on different ones? Only get the DGL. Some people were saying that they got weird reactions and nausea and stuff if you just got the licorice root extract. Like, I guess if it was a high amount, because this is 760 mg. Um, and you can take, I take two pills in the morning, and sometimes I'll take two pills like around lunch or dinner. But it says you can take up to three times. Sometimes I only take it once a day because I'm only having coffee once a day. I initially had gotten these. I'll leave the link for this because some people like the flavor of the licorice root. I hate it. When I was a kid, my parents used to make me chew the actual bark when I was sick. It was traumatizing. So I hate these, can't return it. Maybe it'll come in handy when I run out of these. I do like to procrastinate with ordering my vitamins, so I'm pretty sure I will run out of these before ordering new ones. And I will end up chewing one of this. Now, I'm just gonna show y'all the size. I thought it was tiny. It's not. It's not. But for people, some people really like the flavor. I mean, licorice is pretty sweet. 
for me, it's just gross though. But I'd be like, and then drink something. These, where I take two of it, and I'm fine with pills. Pills don't bother me. These aren't, these aren't huge. I take two of them. As long as I don't have to taste it, child, I will take as many pills as you tell me to do. But I'll leave the link for both of these if you like the chewables. And if you rather swallow it, yeah. And uh, guys, legit, I'm going to give you guys all of my little tips because I did a lot of research before doing this. So I got my bachelor's degree in child development and psychology with a minor and maternal health. I was pre-med. I love health. I love medicine. I love natural medicine even more. And I did a lot of time in school of research, research, research. I know how to research some things, child. And so that's what I do before I buy anything, especially if it's something I'm putting in my body. Um, I'm going to share all of it with you guys. So hopefully I don't have to go through the hustle and bustle of looking a million one things up and reading through a ton of view reviews and articles about the benefits, the pros and the cons. This is great for acid reflux. If you're struggling, get this. It's not a whole lot. I'm going to send the link. I can't remember the cost, but uh, don't hate me for it. Love you guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.